Hey everybody, Garrett over at Outdoors back here again with another one of our review videos. Figured it's uh, about that time of year get, where everybody's getting out doing some hunting and uh, hopefully getting some deer on the ground and uh, getting an opportunity to do some of their own uh, processing. Hope, if you've watched our channel long enough, we've shown a lot of field to table stuff, a lot of the process of making some sausage and just you know doing grind or you know making burgers, whatever. If you haven't, go back and check those videos out on our field to table series and uh, see what you think. Uh, hopefully that'll help you out. Uh, show you how we do things, not necessarily how everybody else does it, but this is how we do it. Um, and then on the reviews, uh, one, we've got a bunch of Weston products that we use and wanted to run through those for everybody to kind of show you what's out there and what's available and what we think. So we like the Weston stuff and uh, have had a lot of success with it. So on this one, we'll talk about my grinder that I have. So I picked this up uh, two, three years ago um, I had been using a manual grinder for a little bit because I had an old electric grinder that I'd burn up. So kind of you get what you pay for. So I made sure to go ahead and pay for the Weston and worth every penny. So this is the uh, Butcher Series number eight, half horsepower uh, electric grinder. And this thing is a workhorse. Yes, there are bigger ones. Yes, they have other series. Um, but for what I'm doing, and I'm putting a lot through this, uh, I mean, I'm putting four or five deer, you know, worth of grind through this thing every year. And this year, five even more now that Chris is here, living in the area. So as a matter of fact, uh, we went to Ohio and came back with uh, four deer between the two of us. And we ended up doing, I guess it was right about 70 pounds of grind um, that we ran through this thing in a single day. And this thing just turned it on in the morning and just kept on grinding. And then after we you know, did all of that, um, which is essentially twice because you run through the coarse grind and, or the, yeah, the coarse grind and the fine grind. And then we ran it through to stuff all of our bags, the one pound bags, um, right out of the grinder. So 70 pounds worth of meat went through this thing three times in a day and didn't even phase it and goes quick. So at any rate, like I said, this is the, ha the half horsepower butcher series number eight. Check it out online. Um, it's phenomenal. They've got, I mean, you're going to get what you pay for with this thing. So yes, you're going to spend a couple hundred bucks or more to uh, pick one of these up, but it's going to last you a long time. Uh, I've, like I said, I've, this is the third or fourth season now that I've had this thing and I've already been putting meat through it this year, hopefully a lot more. And it just, it just goes through it so well. Um, so I, like any other grinder, you're going to have your coarse plate, uh, which is what I have in, or uh, fine plates in here. And you have your coarse plate. So always use your coarse plate first, go through, and then do your final grind with your, your uh, fine grind plate. It does come with all the tubes. Uh, I also have Weston's uh, uh, saucer stuffer, the manual saucer stuffer. It's a seven pound version, and uh, it comes with all that stuff too. So I don't really use this stuff anymore from the grinder because it's kind of a pain in the neck if you're doing it. If you've got two people, then sure, by all means, um, works really great. I just find it's a little fast and uh, for my taste, even if you're doing it with two people, but uh, it, as a one person show trying to do any kind of stuffing, it's uh, not the best. <laughs> um, at any rate, I've got, you know, it's got all the tubes that you would need. It comes with, you know, for like the snack stick style on the tube here, um, which has the auger to help push it through. And then obviously um, you change out your blade um, on there. You don't have the grinder plate and the blade that's in there. You just have this little piece it goes in um, to help push it in your auger. So, I mean, there's not really much to talk about on this thing other than the fact it's amazing and then, you know, which one I have. And again, like, you know, there's always the debate of which one do I get. Um, this one's kind of, as far as their series are concerned, it's kind of like their middle of the road series. It's not their, like their base, you know, home model, if you will, or the professional model. Um, you know, the pro series, I think is what they call it. This is their middle of the road series, and then it's a half horsepower. You can get bigger, but I mean, like I said, I'm putting you know on average about four deer worth of grind through this thing a year, um, and uh, it's been fine. This year will be a you know a bunch more with Chris uh, being here. We've already put four deer's worth through it, as I said. But um, yeah, I mean, this for me, I think this is perfect, and for most of you out there, I think this this type of setup would be perfect for you. Last a long time and do what you need to do. Um, the other thing that's really nice about this thing 
is uh, cleaning. It's so easy. It's all metal parts. There are some plastic pieces that are in here, um, but as far as in the, you know, the grinder, it's all you know, solid pieces. And then everything inside, except for there's one little bushing that's uh, you know, plastic, but everything else is all metal. You can throw the whole thing, you know, from the you know, your from your uh, pl your uh, plunger here to the um, hopper, you know, the auger uh, casing here. Everything can all go right in the dishwasher. Rinse it off in the sink. Get all the big chunks off of it. Throw the whole thing in the dishwasher and wipe, it, and you'll clean it up nice and good. And then wipe all this stuff down, with, you know, a rag and some so some soap, and you're done. It's super easy to maintain. Um, and then I keep it in the box that I that got it in, and it works, keeps it uh, pretty good. At any rate, that's about the, the story with the grinder. So hopefully you guys are you know enjoy watching these videos. And I know that, that you know, this is a quick down and dirty video, but you know, if you're like me, I like to look up stuff on uh, YouTube and see what other people are using before I buy it, and then uh, you know see what they have to say about it. So nothing but pl uh, good reviews on this one. So go check it out. As always. Thanks for following along, watching our videos. Go back and check out some of our other stuff. Leave some comments, leave a like, and as always, please, please hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate all of you. See you guys later.